Today we're going to be outlining what's new for Build 900. The areas we're going to cover today include improvements to the visual controls, updates to the Argus graphs, a new Argus API, a new graphical link view, and several style updates. The new visual controls design was implemented with the user experience in mind. We wanted to eliminate information clutter and provide user-friendly interactive data and information. Now we display only the parts of the screen that are important to the people using the system. Indicators let you know if your system is functioning correctly, while alerts let you know if your system needs attention. There's an improved use of colors and using color consistency. We've avoided unnecessary distracting animations, decluttered all screens, and improved fundamental screen styling. The home screen has been changed to better allow users to get the information that they need and to declutter as much as possible. It is still fully customizable to suit all of our customers' needs. Previously, it was easy to have the home screen fill up with the various shortcuts and programs required over time to monitor and configure your system. These new controls should not interfere with your existing screens or parameters, so there's very little initial adjustment to the new layout. These visual controls include the Argus Navigator, Argus Tables, Argus Linear Gauges, Argus Panels, Argus Indicators, Argus Proportional Controls, and Argus Digital Controls. It's important to note that many of the new features require you to select the Screen Design tab first to turn on Screen Design Mode, allowing you to make changes or create controls. Once in Screen Design Mode, you can also edit any of the existing controls. To edit a visual control, there's an editing handle at the bottom right side of all visual controls when the control is in edit mode. To enable edit mode, you must select the screen design tab, then click the edit button. The toolbar for the control is now visible. Now you're in control editing mode, and the editing handle for all visual controls is visible. Clicking an editing handle highlights that control and is moved by dragging anywhere on the control or resizing it by dragging on the resizing squares of the control. The Argus Navigator is a radial dial where you can perform many of the different menu actions. You can click on the Argus Navigator to bring up a radial circle populated by shortcuts you create. It allows you to configure and navigate to various areas of the system, much like the right-click menu. The Argus Navigator defaults to a closed state and does not take up a lot of screen space. Select Screen Designer tab. Click the Edit Control button. Click the Argus Navigator icon. Select a name and window position. Click to browse and add parameters to the Argus Navigator. The Argus table is used to display data values in tabular view. The width of each column is evenly divided by the width of the table. If the height of the control is less than the embedded table's height, the control is resized to the height of the table. If in screen editing mode, you can click on the caption bar of the control to select the control. In the selection mode, you can resize it by dragging the small squares or move the control by dragging the edge sections. The following property dialog is used to change the settings of this control. Click the Argus table icon. Enter a table name. Enter a window position and size. Click to browse and add parameters to the Argus table. The Argus Linear Gauge Type 1 is used to display a view-only range for a specific value, such as a set point. Each bar has several sections indicating various alarm settings. Black pointers are for the set points, and the green is the current value pointer. The bar has various sections that correspond to the properties dialog entries. Based on where the current value is, the top section displays either blank, alarm level, or other kinds of symbols. Each element inside the Argus Linear Gauge Type 1 is proportional to the size of the gauge. Click the Argus Linear Gauge Type 1 icon. Enter a name, visibility, window position and size, and range. Click to browse and add parameters to the Argus Linear Gauge Type 1. The Argus Linear Gauge Type 2 is used to display a proportional value from 1 to 100 and a set point value. The desired set point displays as a diamond. The properties dialog is used to change the settings of this gauge. The label is fixed to the bottom side and can be hidden as well. You can link a value and the desired set point to the control. Along with the typical property settings, you can also change the progress bar and background color. The default colors are green and gray. 
Click the Argus Linear Gauge Type 2 icon. Enter a label, options, and window properties. Click to browse and add parameters to the Argus Linear Gauge Type 2. An Argus panel is a container allowing you to place other elements inside of it. If in screen editing mode, click the edge of the panel to select it. You're able to resize it by dragging the small squares around the edge, or move the panel by dragging the edge sections. If the contents of the panel are outside the boundary of it, the shadow along the edge turns red instead of the usual dark gray. The Argus panel uses the new Windows property dialog. Previously you could make a window or menu entry and we've now added panel to that list. Click the Argus panel icon. Enter a label, options, and window properties. Click to add a reference to the Argus panel and other options. An Argus indicator is used to show the on and off state of a parameter. The left indicator is used for the off state, while the right indicator is used for the on state. Property dialog is used to change the settings of the control. The label can be hidden or docked to four sides of the control. The Browse System for Parameter button can be used to associate a cell to an element in the system. Click the Argus indicator icon. Enter a label and window position and size. Click to browse and add parameters to the Argus indicator. An Argus proportional control is a two-button control type, auto and manual, used to present a percentage of a linked element. There are two available buttons, auto and manual. Selecting either changes the mode or the way the control is displayed. The properties dialog is used to change the control settings. Click the Argus proportional control icon. Enter a label, window position and size, and layout. Click to browse and add parameters to the Argus proportional control. An Argus Digital Control is a three-button type, auto, on, and off, used to present an on-off state of a linked element. If the control is in auto mode, the on-off state is always driven by the linked element. If the off button is pressed, the control is always off. If the on button is pressed, the control is always on. Property dialog is used to change the settings of this control. Click the Argus Digital Control icon. Enter a label, window position and size, and layout. Click to browse and add parameters to the Argus Digital Control. For more information on these visual controls, see the visual control section of the online help and the visual controls video. The Argus graphs have a new window that's been extensively updated with three key additions, allowing multiple graphs, new toolbar and a graph window, and creating and using annotations. Allowing multiple graphs. Graphs are now merged in the software rather than a separate application. If you open a graph, it's embedded in your window, but still allows the option of having a graph in a separate window if preferable. You can now display multiple graphs on the screen. The toolbar has been enhanced with many of the old features you enjoyed and updated with new functionality. The ability to turn the toolbar on and off, the edit menu has been reorganized, scaling, display, and interval menu options are now buttons for better access. The legend can now be displayed or not, and you can change the legend alignment and direction. Sharpen data is now drop-down menus, including sample rate and noise filter. The tabular, horizontal, and vertical buttons were removed and are accessed directly into the graph in tab view. Creating and using annotations. You can now add, edit, or delete annotations. Same idea as a channel note to any X or Y data point on a graph. For more information on the graph updates, see the graph update guide and the Argus graph update video. Build 900 is API ready for our customers wanting access to their system data and the ability to share it. Our new application program interface or API allows access to our data from external sources. This API is the interface to a database of information where users determine the elements they want to display and data is returned in a string, date, time, parameter, data, and so on. The API allows you to more efficiently manage your data and access real-time information to compare to your own operation data. Currently, the API has some restrictions. API out only. Authentication. A username and password are required. User privileges. Required before using the API. Users must be familiar with both RESTful and JSON and be using either Postman REST client or a similar tool capable of sending and capturing API requests to access the data. 
All recorded data is available, starting when build 8.99 was first installed. Any earlier data must be converted to SQL and must be performed by Argus support. Navigate to your Postman or other application and open it. Next, you need to log in. Enter your username or email. Enter your password. Click Sign In. Add authentication. Switch from No Auth to Basic Auth. Ensure your software username is entered. Ensure your software password is entered. For now, you can only perform a GET request to receive data. Enter a valid URI. Once the URI is entered, click Send. Data is displayed in the lower pane, in this case, a list of available parameters. You can copy the data to the clipboard or search for specific text. Clicking Search opens a text box. Clicking Copy copies the data, and when done, a message is displayed. For more information on API URIs and available parameters, see the API Programmer's Guide and the Argus API video. The Titan system depends extensively on manually assigned data linkages. It's critically important to understand the logical and physical connections made within the system. Previously, it was not possible to follow the data linkages along their logical pathways, and while it's possible to follow a pointer link to its current source, it was not possible to reveal the pointers, if any, that are currently pointing to a given parameter. There is also no representation of the physical hardware connections on the system, even though all the information is available in the system. Graphical linkage displays the relationship between elements on the screen. We've added graphical data linkages between an element of interest to linking and linked elements. It's currently limited to three levels, focused, parent, and child elements. Primary reference is also available for each element on the screen, as well as go to primary reference. Parent element. The focused element points to the parent element, which is always depicted to the left. Focused element, the element you wanted to view. Always at the center of the dialog, surrounded by the parent element and any child or linking element number elements. Child element or linking element number. These elements point to the focused element and are considered child elements to that focused element. Run the software and browse to a screen where the element of interest is sitting. Right click to open the context menu. Click show element linkage menu item to open the dialog. Three levels of linkage display as well as the top toolbar displays the primary reference of the selected element. Double click either a parent or child element to refresh the dialog with the new linkage graph based on the clicked element. Click the primary reference to close the dialog and then the primary reference screen is displayed. Resizing the dialog causes the linkage diagram to fit the size of the dialog. For more information on Argus Graphical Link View, see the software online help and the Argus Graphical Link View video. In previous builds, the look and feel of the software was somewhat dated, with hard to read fonts, too many colors, various colored backgrounds, and generally too much overall on each screen. We've updated and refreshed the overall look and feel of the software window with new fonts, colors, and layouts. We have a standard gray background to minimize glare and help to focus attention to specific parts of the screen. These updates also help to declutter screens and allow important information such as alarms to have colored alerts that make sense and draw the eye to a potential problem. We have new font types to better display all the text on the screen, replacing the old courier new font, new raised readings and settings, or sunken menu entries to simulate buttons. Upgrading from a previous build to this one is done easily and efficiently in most cases with little or no added setup. We've updated the online help with a new look and feel and better search capabilities. Thank you for watching the video today as we outline what's new in build 900. For more information, contact Argus support.